Placements at ISI are very similar to how placements at other institutions happen. There are companies who come for pre-placement talks, then you have to appear for their tests, and if you qualify, you move ahead to the interviews or group discussion rounds, and everything else remains the same. So there are companies who would prefer a particular kind of a candidate, like ISI's flagship program is MSTAT. So most of the companies are looking for MSTAT candidates, and sometimes they also look for MSQE candidates. So the first category is MSTAT, second category is MSTAT or MSQE, and then you have companies who are open for all, and sometimes companies are not open for MMath or other master programs. Now, this depends from company to company and their understanding of what the curriculum uh, offers and what their requirement is. But if you ask me honestly, I would feel that any master's program at ISI would be well suited to any industry because it trains you very well in programming, math, statistics, and ultimately all jobs will require these things only. So the idea is industry-wise, the requirement is best known to the industry guys. The finishing thing is you have to be thorough with the preparation for the tests because the tests are very different than what you have studied in your entrance test for ISI course or even let's say your curriculum. The tests are more like aptitude tests. So CAT or MBA kind of test. So you might be familiar with these kinds of tests of placements because the similar tests are also offered at IITs and other engineering colleges. So the test here is not very similar to what you study for the program. I mean, there is a bit of a match, but most of the questions are aptitude based. And only when you get to the interview stage, then there could be questions on your curriculum, on maths, programming, statistics. Now, I'm generalizing a lot because there are companies who have different way of conducting their hiring process. But I'm just making this idea clear that what you need to do, the bare minimum, your profile, which you captured in your resume, must demonstrate that what you bring to the table because you might have a career gap or you might be a fresher. You should not make that as a mind block that I am a fresher or I have a career gap. Ultimately, you have to demonstrate that as a fresher, what projects you have done, which is making you suitable for this job. And as someone who has a certain amount of gap in their resume, what they did in that gap, how does that add value? Because ultimately you have to give value to that person who is wanting to hire you. They don't want to reject you. They want to hire you. You have to understand it clearly. So they give you an ample chance to showcase your skills. If you have to uh, segment the preparation, there are three stages. One, you have to be thorough with the aptitude kind of questions and your speed will be important here because aptitude tests are not difficult, but those are uh, demanding of your speed. Second would be your resume profile. When I say resume profile, you should be able to talk about the resume in length. And you also must have something more than what it's written, what's written on your resume. And the last is whenever you are appearing for an interview, try to understand what kind of company this is. And if my curriculum has something which can add value and what's unique in that, you that adds value for that company. Essentially, how have you, how are you positioning yourself for this role. So net net the placements at ISI MSQE program is going to be good for you. It's only a matter of how well you are ready for it. And essentially the placements happen sometime in the month of October and November. So if you start preparing for that, let's say in the month of July or August, you will be in a good position.